Hi, I'm Ree Drummond, the Pioneer Woman, and you are going to make my fish almondine. It's a delicious recipe, nice and light, and a little bit retro. So first, you want to work on some parsley. I pulled some parsley leaves off of the stems, and I'm going to chop it up. You also want to preheat the oven to 375 degrees, and then it'll be all ready for the fish to go in. So I'm just using cod fillets, but you can look in your freezer or your fridge and see what you've got. This works with any white fish. It also works with salmon. It's a super versatile recipe. This recipe was inspired by the old style cafeteria restaurants that I used to go to with my grandmother. Talk about my favorite kind of restaurant in the world. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, but basically you get a tray, you go down this super long line. It seemed like the length of a football field and you just kind of point, I'll take a little of that, a little of that. But this fish was one of the things that I used to get all the time. It's not a fancy fish almondine. Don't expect a really authentic French recipe here. <laughs> it's more of sort of a comfort food classic in America. Okay, I got the parsley all chopped. So now you wanna work on the topping for the fish. Starts with three quarters of a cup of panko crumbs. I really love to use panko crumbs for this fish. They're so light, they're really, really crisp, but you could also use regular breadcrumbs, seasoned breadcrumbs, anything goes. Now, in addition to the panko crumbs, I'm also using sliced almonds. So just sprinkle those in with the crumbs, and then you've gotta add something to bring this crumb mixture together. What better thing than some melted butter so as you drizzle in the melted butter, you just wanna stir, and the point is to get those panko crumbs completely coated in butter, because then in the oven, they will bake up nice and golden. Very, very flavorful. So just keep stirring until you don't see any more dry panko crumbs. Look at that. <laughs> Truth be told, I could probably eat these with a spoon. They look so good. I really love panko crumbs because they're light and crisp, really mild. You can also just use regular breadcrumbs or seasoned breadcrumbs. Really anything goes. You could actually use cornflakes <laughs> if you want to go really old school. Just crush up some plain cornflakes and use those. You can tell them I told you to do that. You can blame me. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to sprinkle in some salt and pepper. And then this is where the parsley comes in. The parsley kind of elevates this mixture a little bit, gives it a nice pop of green, really fresh flavor. And then just stir that. And then you have this beautiful, buttery crumb mixture with almonds all over the place. Okay, now before this almond topping goes on the fish, I'm gonna dredge the fish in flour. So I'll get some plain flour into a bowl. You don't need too much, but you do want to season the flour. There's nothing worse than under seasoned flour. So plenty of salt and pepper. You know, you can also add some paprika or cayenne if you like a little bit of heat. You can add some ground thyme. I'm keeping it pretty simple because I really love the simplicity of the crumb mixture. So I don't want the flour mixture to have a whole set of flavors on its own. Okay, I'm gonna get a spoon. I'm not in my kitchen on the ranch. I keep having to fumble around and find things to cook with. Okay, it's all stirred together. So I'm just using cod fillets, very mild, and I'm gonna dredge them first. So you just drop the fillets into the flour Move them so that the flour gets all over the place. Shake off the excess. And then you can get fancy and do two at a time. <laughs> With four kids and a ranching husband, I have to learn to be efficient. <laughs> if I can dredge three pieces at a time, I will. <laughs> and look, that's what I'm doing right now. I like efficiency. Sometimes I have to make sure I don't rush things that shouldn't be rushed. 
All right, so the cod fillets are beautifully dredged in flour. So you're gonna love how I get this crumb mixture on top of the fish. I need something for it to stick to. So there is nothing better for that than plain mayonnaise. I'm telling you guys, this recipe is delicious and delightful. Just take about probably two teaspoons of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise makes a wonderful, I'm kind of calling it an adhesive for the crumb mixture, but it really, really works. If you're averse to mayonnaise at all, don't worry about it because it does not have a strong mayonnaise flavor or texture at all. It really just kind of provides a base for the crumbs. I have so many memories from going to cafeterias with my grandmother. We would meet there probably once a week when my girls were really small and we would get gelatin salads and pie, mac and cheese. There was always sort of a green bean, a roll. <laughs> I have so many memories from those cafeterias. I think somebody should bring them back in a big way. I bet they'd get a lot of customers because lots of people have cafeteria memories from their childhood. All right, you guessed it. This is where the crumb mixture goes on. You just spoon the topping right over and then press it into the mayonnaise and then it's going to stick. You're going to get crumbs all over the pan and that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can take your time and be very, very precise. Precision is not what I have to offer the world. <laughs> I like quick and easy recipes, and if I worry about a few stray almonds or crumbs, I would have high blood pressure. So look how beautiful this topping is already, and it hasn't even baked. This is one of those great crumb toppings that you can change up according to what you like. It's really delicious to add some grated Parmesan to this. It kind of takes the flavor in a different direction. You can do different fresh herbs, not just parsley. You could do some thyme, some dill really would be delicious. I do like recipes that have a lot of flexibility, a lot of variations, because that is just how I cook and it's how I think about food. And I guess I just get bored easily. I don't like to make the same thing twice. I don't like to wear the same shirt twice. You see a pattern here. Okay, I think I got these totally coated. Those crumbs look so buttery. Okie doke, now these are ready for the oven. I'm gonna put them in for about 16 to 18 minutes until the fish is done. It's gonna be so good. All right, it has been approximately 16.48 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna check on the fish. Oh, wow. Look at this. Gorgeous. The crumbs are sort of light golden brown and those sliced almonds got so brown around the edge. Gorgeous. Now, if there's one thing fish needs, it's a little hit of lemon. So I like to just squeeze lemon juice over right when it comes out of the oven. And then you can serve with the rest of the lemon for anyone who wants to squeeze on a little bit more. How long the fish takes to cook depends on how thick the pieces are and also how hot your oven gets. So you can kind of start looking about 16 minutes and see how it looks. It should be totally opaque. So serving this up is going to be the fun part. I'm gonna pick the prettiest piece, which I think is this. I've got a cafeteria tray. This is more of a school cafeteria tray, but I just thought it was totally charming. And I'm gonna go for two pieces because I can. <laughs> How does yours look? So I've got a couple of cafeteria classics to go with the fish. I've got quick shells and cheese, and this is linked to the recipe, so you can make this very recipe or you can just make your own mac and cheese. I got a little on the roll, so I'll just pretend that never happened. <laughs> I think mac and cheese is a classic cafeteria dish. Oh, it looks perfect. 
And then these are green beans. There's a little bit of bacon and red pepper. This recipe is also linked. They were cooked kind of low and slow. Nothing fancy about these at all. The red pepper kind of makes them look a little bit prettier. <laughs> oh, what a dinner. This is a winner, winner cafeteria dinner, if you ask me. Wouldn't it be fun to have a cafeteria themed party and serve all of this to guests on a tray? Precious. All right, I gotta take a bite of this gorgeous fish. Oh, mm. it is cooked perfectly. Oh, that crumb is so buttery and light. The parsley is wonderful, and I got a little crunch of almond. Absolutely perfect. Thank you so much for cooking fish almondine with me. See you next time.